Weber. Open test count number four. Allow it to continue to run. We'll open and flush test count number one if you plan on using it. Open test count number two, flush it, close it back. Open test count number three, flush it out. Close test count three. It will close test count number four. Take our high side hose, connect to test cot number two. Take our low side hose, connect to test cot number three. Ensure all of our vials are on our gauge are in a closed position. Take our screwdriver, open test cot number three. Take our bypass hose and secure it. We'll open up our low side lead. Take our screwdriver and open up test cot number two. We'll open up our high side lead. Close high side lead. And close low side lead. And we're ready to turn off number two shut off valve. That completes our initial setup. We're ready to begin our first test. In order to test our number two check valve against a back pressure, we're going to take our bypass hose. We want to purge the line before we hook it up. So we'll open up our high side valve. One turn is plenty. We'll take our bypass valve, open it up, purge the line, close the bypass valve. Then we'll take our bypass hose, connect to test cot number four. Take our screwdriver, open test cot number four. Then we gotta reset our gauge. So we'll secure our bleed hose, open up our low side bleed. Once the gauge reaches the upper end scale, close the low side bleed. This has our gauge ready. Now when we open up our bypass valve, we will apply back pressure against check valve number two. If our gauge remains steady, it does not drop to zero, it means check valve number two is holding tight against back pressure. In order to test check valve number one, we have to just have to reset our gauge, so we'll secure our bleed hose, open the low side bleed, close low side bleed. Once the gauge stays out, this will be the value we record on our form for check valve number one. This value has to be one or higher. In order to test our number two shut off valve, just take our screwdriver, close test cock number two. Once we close that, as our gauge remains steady, that means our shot valve number two is holding tight. Record the status of that on the form. Once we do that, we're ready to disconnect our hoses. So we'll close off the remaining test cocks. Disconnect our, all of our hoses. Do our last test, testing check valve number two in direction of flow. We'll take our high side hose, connect to test cock number three. Take our low side hose, connect to test cock number four. Sure, all of our vials on our gauge are in a closed position. Take our 
first screwdriver, open test cock number four, open test cock number three, we secure our bleed hose and open its low side bleed. Now that it continues running, we'll open up our high side bleed, close the high side bleed. Once the needle reaches in, bring the scale, close the low side bleed. This value is going to be one or higher. You record this value on our form for check by number two, in direction of flow. Once we record our value, we turn off our test cock. Disconnect our hoses. Then we're ready to restore customer service by turning on number two shutoff valve.